Okay, we have to start from the beginning. My name is Ivana Lalovic and I am a writer-director. My name is Amanda Hagberg. Amanda Hagberg and I'm a screenwriter. Yeah, and uh, I'm Suni Jorgensen. I'm the head writer of uh, the game It Takes Two. Together uh, with Josef Fares. You two, you are uh, way better gamers than I am then. <laughs> That's funny because so, you are uh, big. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not, not, not a good gamer. I can only write <laughs> a game. <laughs> I loved uh, to, to write for uh, especially this game and Hazelight Studios and working so closely with the game director, Josef Fares. It's really one of the most joyous, you know, like experiences I've had, especially as a screenwriter, because it was so creative. Hey, honey, can I just take Elephant a sec? All right. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, oh, Rose, boy. honey, you know we love you, right? Yeah. And sometimes that means that uh, we have to do stuff that isn't always very fun. <laughs> This is like what we're trying to say, darling. It's like a normal like scene that you wrote, or uh, yes, uh, the the so-called cut scenes. It's just regular like movie or TV scenes. So you follow the story, uh, and the gamer can kind of uh, lean back and just uh, follow along with the story. Or usually they go to the bathroom. <laughs> Um, but it, it's nice uh, that you guys bring up Pixar because uh, that was something that Joseph told me early on uh, that he had, I mean, that that, that was what he, he was, you know, looking for. Uh, and um, that's also why, I mean, not only visually, but that's also, it, it was so important with the story um, to make uh, the story uh, to be both fun, but also, um, you know, uh, touching and, and, and that, that it should, you know, be based on something real. I thought it was really important to, to give this daughter a story as well and stay with her. I mean, revisiting her uh, through the game so we don't lose the contact uh, with her. Because I think uh, her presence is what can make the story uh, poignant. I think it was important for her as well to, to reach some kind of insight. Uh, so that, so that now you have three people you have to kind of develop in a, in a believable way. Uh, well, that, that kind of fits this uh, co-op idea. Because then the characters like are forced to collaborate you know what I'm Hello? Uh, Hello? as the gamers are. So, so that I liked also in this divorce uh, idea. Okay, so now we <laughs> we begin. Okay. Okay, do you not have to jump? Okay. What did the book oh, okay. tell us? I mean, this one, the shed, it's more about, you know, let the gamer, you know, try it out and get to know the setup, the premise, oh, um, the characters, and all, all that. But then we, we get more and more into the story where, where we can bring in um, the, the conflict between the two and... Um, uh, push them t to do stuff uh, that will eventually help them uh, grow uh, a little and, and reach certain insights. Now what we're are we a bit doing? stuck. We have to this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Or but lift I... it up. I thought we could lift it up somehow, uh, but I don't know how. Uh, you, uh, you have to get the fuses. Exactly, and we've got the, the two, and the last one is uh, catched under a glass. I mean, if we can't get through this with the writer, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're screwed. <laughs> it's ever-changing, and they need to test a lot of stuff here, because it's so complex to develop a game, and it's so much uh, technical stuff that also need, need to work. 
Um, so after weeks, maybe they had to, you know, scrap a certain mechanic or, or uh, you know, idea or even a level. Uh, so, so then, you know, I had to scrap my work and start over again. But, um, you know, I, I learned this quickly that, okay, this is obviously how it, it needs to be. Um, because every department, uh, they're working simultaneously. Uh, and we, f we feed uh, each other with ideas and, you know, um, so it's ever, ever, ever changing. So if you're a writer who doesn't like to rewrite, uh, you should not, I, I think, go into the, the gaming industry because you have to be completely open to change, you know, every, every day. And this is much thanks to Josef Fares again, that his vision and um, his goal was really to make the story, the character's story and the game, game uh, gaming, the gameplay, you know, be connected. Because you know that some games, uh, they have a story and then you go into the, the, the gameplay and then you go back to the story and, and it feels a bit like uh, separate things or two separate parts. And the goal here was really to, you know, join them more together so, so, so it becomes more like an organic whole. I mean, they could come to me and say, Hey, Sunny, we have this crazy idea about this uh, kind of mechanic or Cody must be able to um, do this magical thing. And I would go, yeah, well, that has nothing to do with the story. And they go, yeah, we know, but go fix it, you know. But I love that. It's, um, you know, problem solving and, and super creative. Okay, so now we're here. Okay. Uh, ah, and now it's a cutscene. Ah, okay, again. Ah, and there's the book. Tell us about the yeah. book. No, <laughs> no, the book is yeah. wrong. It's actually Yusuf who is um, doing Hakim's body. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's, that's a bit of a trivia. And we did uh, try out uh, some actors. Um, but Yosef was, uh, he <laughs> you was see, yeah, <laughs> he's <laughs> shaking it, <Wow. laughs> he's got the moves. <laughs> We've received so many uh, fan mails and it's amazing and people have even found me, uh, like Google search or whatever and, and find, uh, you know, way to contact me. I was amazed <laughs> by that, right? being a screenwriter where no one cares otherwise but that's what what I love with the, you know the gaming industry the gamers it's it's all about them and it's so wonderful I received one one of those I remember where the father wrote to me and said that it was the first time um, that uh, he could connect with his daughter uh, around this divorce and, and they could talk about it and also uh, playing this game uh, helped them to bond even more uh, mom, Dad. yeah i'm coming darling Husband. where are you my my dear there are you honey yeah. hey yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, that's how we are talking to, talk to, to yeah each other. <laughs> how does a regular working day looks like for you uh, when you worked on the game how did it look like on Mondays, we had, you know, Monday meetings and uh, all that, uh, where everyone could report uh, where they were, the status of, of their department. And then I actually uh, usually uh, went to the art department. Then I could hear and see uh, different ideas they had and how they had uh, developed certain characters and rooms and stuff. Um, and then I could see if they had, um, for example, if they gave a certain character a certain room, I, I could uh, help them and say, yeah, but listen, this character is more like this. Jesus, okay. you guys came up with really good ideas yeah. here. This is really cool. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. 
Yeah, th those guys uh, are amazing. Um... Run! Oh, do come again? on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, no, no, you don't no, have no, time no, to no, drink. No. Yes, 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 yes. Wow, man, ah. where are you, IT? So, if you search for the credits uh, for uh, the game it takes to, uh, you can Google it, I think. Uh, you will get this really long list. But compared to the AAA games, it's a really short list. And, um, oh, by the way, yesterday evening, uh, we won the BAFTA. Oh, um, wow. Congrats on that, too. Congrats. Yeah, but for they have uh, many categories, but one of the big, uh, uh, one really big prize was the best, uh, uh, best multiplayer. Oh. Up against all those AAA games, it's amazing. Maybe is there going to be a film adaptation <laughs> of the game? Yeah, that, that, that's kind of ironic, right? Uh, I have to write uh, a game in order to see someone making a movie. <laughs> uh, is there a, a level that we should that is extra cool that um, we should try? Yeah, go to go to tree. This way. What? You're never gonna make that jump. Yeah, watch me. God damn it! Let me throw the book! <gasps> the book. We are mom and dad. We know him so far. <laughs> this tree level is a good example of where the story and the characters uh, came first. And um, uh, the designers had to, you know, they, they have to uh, come up with the gameplay based on uh, the, the the characters. Am I going backwards? No. Am I going backwards? Oh, that's, yeah, yeah. So I am going backwards. <laughs> oh, that's now I understand. Okay. Oh. I see. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> I was asked by, uh, I think, the producer to uh, do a word count of. Um, uh, all the words in the dialogue uh, in the cutscene script, you know, the, the, the so-called mo movie scenes. Uh, and um, it landed around 13,000 words, um, all the characters combined. Uh, and it sounds uh, humongous, and it, it, it is, but compared to the AAA games, it's, it's nothing. And then you have to remember, um, we also have those, uh, um, the, the dialogue uh, when, when the gamers uh, are playing, right? Where the characters talk to, to each other and so on. And they're called barks in, in games, like, like dogs barking. Because I, I guess sometimes it's quite meaningless uh, dialogue, but, but we try to, to make it matter uh, a bit more, of course. So, so can you see yourself uh, writing for uh, a game? Absolutely. Yes, of course. Totally, especially after playing it and then getting all the background information on the game, yeah. how it was created. I think it sounds um, like really fun with this like collab situation, like that you are really a like, collab with the different departments. It can be like really lonely to yeah, be a yes. screenwriter in future film and uh, maybe maybe we can learn from each other. Right now I think it's better to work with a screenwriter if you, if, if you want to develop this kind of game that is really story driven and you want to, you know, uh, make it organic with together with the gameplay because it's such a difficult uh, craft. I would claim that if you do have the craft, it's no problem, because when someone comes to you and say, hey, we've changed this uh, game mechanic to this instead, that has nothing to do with the character, has nothing to do with the story whatsoever, you just say, okay, uh, I'll figure it out. And you will figure it out if you have the craft, because then you have your toolbox 
with all necessary tools. But you're not a gamer and you haven't finished this game, right? Yeah, no, no, because <laughs> I, I can't uh, uh, play so certain, uh, you know, sections. It's too difficult. <laughs> I'm a story storyteller, or, or I think I, I put this one. What does it mean? Weirdo. Weirdo. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Well, I just have to say, because I have played this some before, and like every time we got to a new level, you you can never know what kind of world or what you're gonna find in that in that level and that was really fun like some levels are really like bizarre in one way and i really love that and also the mechanics right yeah. because a lot of games they use the same kind of mechanics or or like skills for the characters whatever they can do if they can shoot and jump and so on yeah. but here um you know it, it changes um, all the time, and that was uh, uh, in Joseph's uh, vision uh, from the beginning. Thanks a lot uh, for the conversation, and thanks a lot that we you created something that we could take part of. Yeah, and congrats! You did a really, really good job. I'm impressed. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I thank from uh, from the whole team. <laughs> yeah, but Amanda, you have the game at home, right? Yeah, I have the game. So invite Ivana and finish it. Okay, so we're just gonna like say goodbye and then we're gonna grab a taxi, <laughs> get back home to me and just continue. continue. Okay, bye. Bye.